Fintech is a disruptive element in the financial ecosystem. Here at Money 2020, we gathered some of the experts to help us better understand how the speed of payments and the ability to personalize finance can change the face of the industry. A lot of what we do and how we revolutionize the payments and the way our customers actually do business is by creating a lot of data that can be used to actually create better payment um, ecosystems for customers. Where we're learning about our customers, we're understanding what their challenges are, we're creating solutions that can be embedded and really make sense for the consumer. Whether that consumer is B2B, B2C, or even if it's looking at travel verticals, remittance verticals, for us, segmentation and how we put together digital solutions is the way we see ourselves revolutionizing the payment, payments industry. We are now working on a very important project. It is our own POS system, Carrefour Group POS system. It is called Smart POS to reinvent the checkout in store inspired by the online. Payments are more and more important and strategic for retailers from the final step of the purchasing journey to a key success factor to enhance the loyalty between the brand and the customers. So when you look at customer expectation, friction is, is really the problem to solve. Um, you know, the expectations are high, tolerance is low. So we as PayPal spend a lot of time reducing, taking friction out of the payments journey for the consumer, increasing their engagement, and really making sure that we drive conversion, which helps our merchants. Second is consumers really expect to be pay, to pay anywhere with any device. So omni-channel and you know, paying with your mobile, your tablet or your laptop, they want to use it all and they want the same experience across the platforms and channels. Well first let me define what account-to-account -account payments are. These are payments that settle over national clearing systems, not over the card networks, not within a wallet like PayPal. So the three greatest barriers have been fragments of national clearing systems, lack of instant settlement capabilities and lack of functionality. And I would say there's initiatives in place to solve all three of those that are happening right now. So my message is to the regulators, to the European Payments Council, to the European Commission, is just keep going faster and we'll get to a place where account to account payments really can become a mainstream form of payment. There are markets like Germany uh, that have by now Peleta products uh, up and running for, for decades. And there are other markets in Europe where the by now Peleta products are quite new. So I think there's a difference. There, there are markets where the experience with these products is quite high. People are used to use these products and it doesn't really affect any kind of consumer spending. Uh, there are markets where this product is new and it's probably replacing some local payment methods or credit cards. But if you look at the overall spending um, habit of consumers, I think it doesn't make a big difference if you're, if you're using credit card based products or if you're using pure buy now pay later products, um, the spending pattern will be probably very similar. Everyone is looking for a smooth travel experience, seamless, frictionless. The aim is to bring together very different companies to support the delivery of this seamless journey, be it fintechs, banks, traditional players, um, enabling people to have both a, a local and a global uh, experience as they travel. No one's going to be able to do it on their own. It's going to come through collaborations and partnerships uh, in order to deploy these global facilities. And, uh, and we're very excited by the journey ahead.